In this video, I wanted to introduce two uh, very exciting uh, new titles, and they are Advances in Conservation Agriculture, Volume 1, Systems and Science, and Volume 2, Practice and Benefits. And they're edited by Professor Amir Kassam, who's a visiting professor at the University of Reading and moderator of the FAO-hosted Global Platform for Conservation Agriculture, Community of Practice. Volume 1 summarises research on key components for successful conservation agriculture, including no-till techniques, soil cover and cropping systems, as well as the role of livestock and agroforestry in CA. Volume 2 reviews research on optimising conservation agricultural practices. And there are chapters, for example, on soil management, crop nutrition and irrigation, pest and disease management, as well as broader issues, such as managing carbon, biodiversity and ecosystem services. Well, to, to show you what's in both volumes, I wanted to pick out a, a chapter from each of them. So from volume one, I picked out chapter four, which is on the role of no or minimum mechanical soil disturbance in conservation agriculture by Theodore Friedrich of the FAO. This chapter looks at current research on the effects of tillage on soil, discusses best practice in minimising soil disturbances in such areas as land preparation, seeding, planting, pest and uh, weed and disease management, and in harvesting. And from volume two, I picked out chapter four on weed management practices and benefits in conservation agricultural systems, which is by Gottlieb Bash and Fernando Teixeira of the University of El Foro, Portugal, and Sjord de Dica of Penn State University in the US. As you may well know, conservation agriculture systems are often perceived as relying heavily on herbicides for weed management. Well, this chapter analyzes non-chemical methods of weed control in conservation agriculture. For example, it discusses soil seed bank dynamics, the mechanisms governing weed soil seed bank depletion, and how to prevent a weed or group of weeds becoming prevalent. It also examines the importance of introducing crop diversity through crop rotation and or intercropping. Well, I'll conclude um, this uh, uh, brief review of these two volumes by quoting two leading experts in this area. First is Jules Pretty, Professor of Environment and Society at the University of Essex in the UK. And he's been kind enough to say, this is an important, timely and authoritative collection on the values of conservation agriculture worldwide. And the second uh, quote, which I'm very excited about, is from no less than Q Dong Yu, Director General of the FAO. And he's been kind enough to say, this edifying book is a compendium of much what we've learned across the world about CA. It will serve as an immensely valuable source of reference and inspiration for all of those who are committed to putting the world's food systems on a tr truly sustainable footing. Well, we think these volumes will be a standard reference on conservation agriculture and essential additions to your library's collection.